Yeah, thanks for a fun time. You just got Nico's deepest, darkest, most terrible moments of his life. And you told me that you hate yourself. So yeah, it was, it was fun. Hey guys, welcome back to GTA 4. This episode is going to be really fun because I believe we get to meet up with little Jacob and we are going for a ride in that helicopter with him, I believe. It's either the helicopter or a plane they're going to put us in. So that's where we're going to start off this episode. Remember in the last one, I got a call right at the very end. Well, that's going to happen again and that will trigger the mission. That's just because I didn't save after I finished off the episode last time. So let's get started and go and see little Jacob and go for a fly. Ah, here we go. Bellic, right. we need you. Now, the chopper is prepped and waiting off Grummer Road in Northwood. Your sometime accomplice Jacob is there. He's riding shotgun on this one. Jacob? <laughs> the Rasta? Don't ask unnecessary questions. I want you to take out this guy's chop. He was last spotted in Varsity Heights. No civilian casualties. Alright, let's go. Am I going the right direction? No, I am not. <laughs> okay. This is cool. I'm looking forward to this. I... Are we flying the helicopter or is Jacob? I, I didn't know that he could fly helicopters. Perhaps this would have been a good mission for Brucey. Because we know that he flies helicopters. But not, not Jacob. So let's see. I'm going into this one with not full armor. So that's going to be interesting. And I'm not making a detour to the armor shop. Hi, Jacob. Where are you? Oh, he is our best buddy. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I don't want to get in just yet. I want to look at him in the helicopter. Yes, yes, my man, Nico. Yes. Hey, Jacob. Hi. Okay, I noticed that he is not in the pilot seat. So that's a job for us. He's smoking. <laughs> I don't think he should be smoking on the helicopter. Oh gosh, okay. Wow. Follow the target and wait for an opportunity to take down his helicopter. Alrighty. Yo, nigga, some serious firepower up in here. Rocket launcher. Let's really? find him and get this over with. I don't like being in this man's pocket. Mm. And not my butter butter. <laughs> so how do we get the rocket launchers come up? Okay, well I haven't got an option for that yet. Oh, I guess it'll it'll tell me soon. I'm not letting it get away, game. It's just literally there. There'll be the other chopper. Stick to him, Nico. We need to take him down there with no people. Oh. A man who has asked me to kill a lot of men, this guy is really safety conscious. <laughs> See, you got that government thing about him. I feel a great, a good thing. Mm. I have the feeling he don't want to be responsible for a helicopter crash in Middle Park. Yeah. Show that. Yo, this be some crazy shit in a nigga. Yo, we in on the star jumps in a helicopter. <laughs> some real spy shit I know is doing it up. Shows <laughs> you that the people who need spy shit done get other people to do their dirty work. Yeah. Same reason, everything crash. <laughs> don't say that word crash, uh, Jacob, please. We don't want to invoke those shit, vibes. Jacob. You really gotta smoke that thing now! <laughs> the secondary smoke doesn't exactly help my hand-eye coordination! And I'm paranoid enough with US government on my ass! Whatever! Actually, just smoking! Oh. <laughs> I did wonder if he should be smoking in the helicopter. Probably not. Walk one. Don't worry about the bridge, Jacob. I'm finally getting the hang of flying this thing. No <laughs> respect. You're right, just ruined my nigga. We're pretty good. We're pretty good. But to be fair, I've flown a lot of helicopters in GTA Online. So I guess I'm not 
too bad. Get close and move to the right. Okay. Beautiful. He is. He's a little bit ahead. I'm just trying to catch up. Come on. Why do you miss, Jacob? <laughs> You're smoking too much. Come on, Jacob. Third time no, lucky. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yes! <laughs> Good job! Awesome! Ooh. Nice shot, Jacob. Good shot, Jacob! Uh -huh. got some cool shot flying skills in the Nico. Can you jump on an eye on the elephant? You don't feel so good enough. Trust me, this thing I'm messing with structure. Hey, um. Someone said that there was a surprise. Yo, job well done in a Nico. But we have to get out of this bomb buckler dead right now, you know. I do not think he can ask us to do more than this. Now it's our turn to get him to help us. If someone can find the man I search for, it should be him. Let's do it. Someone said that there was a surprise at the base of the this statue. So Whoa. Oh gosh. So I just wanted to see if I could see anything here, but actually there is something there. Just one moment, please. One moment, Nika, please get up. Don't worry about me, Mr. Policeman. I am just going to get my surprise. And then I'm heading back to the helicopter. There's something there. It is. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, it's a, it's an outfit. <laughs> Happiness is land. Cool. <laughs> we got a new outfit. <laughs> Thank you so much to the person that mentioned that little surprise there. I love clothes in games. So that is super 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 cool thank you thank you thank you you know what I might have to actually look up if there's any other surprises like that around because I want all the clothes we didn't have much time to check out the statue itself because I just didn't want to really like push my push my luck by not doing what I'm meant to be doing but we are back here at the helipad. And is this going to be a perfect landing? My landings usually are the worst thing about flying a helicopter. I just crash land it most of the time. There we go. That's not too bad. Nico, you don't know you're the man, you know? Sight the man soon, see? Yeah. See you, buddy. Oh, I love how he's just so, he just walks so casually away. Oh, we love you, buddy. We love you. Well, that was really cool. So this guy from the paper should be able to give us more info. We shut down that chopper for you. You think I don't know that? You think I've been sitting around scratching my balls, my head up my ass? Yes. I'd be impressed if you had been. <laughs> I appreciate your assistance, Doug. You did a good thing today. Now it's my turn. I will try to find the man you're after. Try. I will call when I have something. Okay. Well, at least he's actually trying to do that. That is better than nothing, honestly. Our next little mission on the list here is for Gerald. So we're going to head there. You know what? We should probably just take the helicopter. I'm just going to take this helicopter. It's an easy and quick way to get there. Oh, little Jacob, thumbs up. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, we had a great time. I had a really good time with him. That's cool. It's actually really nice, this sort of bird's eye view of the city. 
you can see a lot more things than usual. I love it. That's so cool. Okay, we are just about here at Gerald's place. I think if I just land in the middle of the street, it should be okay. There we go. <laughs> what an entrance. That is a beautiful entrance. And here we are. I need your clothes, your boots and your motorcycle. Oh, there he is. What? <laughs> the sophisticated European. Hi, Kate. I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage. Oh. Don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Oh. Ma, you remember the boyfriend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband <laughs> is in hell. I'm thinking, God moves in mysterious ways. Whoa. That's mother for you. <laughs> Always a joy. <laughs> Nico! Aww. You made it, huh? <sighs> well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. What? You'll do fine. Huh? Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. What? Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Oh. Shit. Really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep Whoa. seeing the same car watching. Wow. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. Mm. In the meantime, it chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on. I got something to show you. Hmm. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest. He's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one. Oh, wow, um, nice outfit, but wow, has Gerald's mother seen what's inside the fridge? <laughs> oh my god, okay, I know that I've been saying for so long that I'm not keen on the McGreary's, but you know what? I actually don't mind Gerald. Is that, is that crazy? Is that, is that silly? But I don't mind him. I, I kind of like Gerald. I like him more than maybe Packy. More than, definitely more than Francis. I've never been a fan of Francis. Oh, hey, sir. Hey. What are we? Oh, we're going on a motorcycle. Absolutely fantastic. But yeah, Gerald, I'm starting to come round. I'm starting to come round. All right, my first couple of times on bikes in this game have not really gone very well. So, I think I would just like to do better. I, I think the motorbikes, yeah, See, look, <laughs> they're too fast, and I probably just need to not go so fast. It's always embarrassing. Like, GTA has this stigma with it, with people that, um, like, record videos about it, that everyone is, like, such a terrible driver. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to be that way. I want to be not great but I don't want to be terrible so I, I try really hard but I do think it's hours and hours hundreds of hours of playing GTA online that 
that contributes to me being not so tragic. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. That was the car. that was the other car. That was the other car. I promise. Get on the bike, Nico. Please. Okay, I'm really I'm I'm really enjoying this mission so far. I've just seen such a good mood today. I feel so positive and happy and just excited to be playing this game. So I hope that I just hope that really shows in my video that I'm I'm happy. Almost here. Here we are. Oh, what are we gonna do? Scumbag! Tony Black didn't do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve it! Tony Black. What the fuck? We're going to the mattresses for sure. I don't know what that means. Going to the mattresses. Take out Fa Frankie Garone. Oh, damn. He's... No, Nico, this is not the time. Why have they put me on a motorbike? Truly. Why have they done this to me? I... Oh, God. Oh, God. Wow, that's actually cool. That was cool. So this guy is causing a lot of trouble in his in his wake. I hate these motorbikes, please. Just get out of the way, honestly. I need to take out this fool. Where where are you? No. Gosh, I don't like motorbikes. Wow, that was lucky. Come on, I've shot at this idiot. by the beautiful bullets oh god no stop this is really really frustrating I don't like motorbikes in this game come back die I hate this idiot come on please Die, please die. <laughs> Got him. Get the gun out. Finally, he's gone. That was awful. That was really bad. Oh god, thank god the cops are off too. I don't like the motorbikes in the game. I don't like it. I was in such a good mood too. Frankie Garone sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> Anyone who saw us is going to describe the Albanian you got on ice. Alright, nice work. Real nice. I'll let Jimmy P know about that. I'll cut you in on anything he throws my way. I don't know how long I'm gonna be outside, though. Mm. I feel like the cops might knock down Ma's door any moment. Take me to the pen. Mm. Good luck with that, Jerry. Yeah, thanks. Please, look after my family if I go inside. Wow, okay. He's... Look, there's too many cops around here. I'm gonna have to get on this stupid motorbike just to get out of here. But he's really feeling that he is just about ready to get busted I don't know if he will or not but if I can look after his family then if you don't mind. then I'll try nice stuff take a look <laughs> great thanks look at her outfit you know what maybe we should actually be getting out of this outfit because 
people are probably going to be looking for a guy of this description. And we're very close to Derek, which is our next mission. But you know what? You know what? Something exciting. I've not been to this safe house. So I think this is the perfect time to go there and also change out of this outfit. Come back, give me your car. Ouch. I literally, I literally just had a hot dog. Get out. Give me your car. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I am curious what this apartment looks like. Here we go. Oh, this one. This one's not as fancy, is it? This one doesn't look as good. Well, we've been spoiled with our other apartments. What's that on the ground? Oh, it's a rotten banana peel. Oh, gosh. Um, there's a cigarette burning there. Whose is that? It's my apartment. Oh, this is trash. This place is terrible. But let's let's get out of these clothes. I like the motorbike outfit, but I just wanted to wear this one today. All right, let's get out of this apartment. Not really a huge fan. The ones in Alderney are just so much fancier, aren't they? that place fan dang oh it's like a nightclub are you the bouncer you nag me like a Turkish horn. I, I can't go in but that looks interesting okay I would like a car I know that I've got a car just there but I want to leave that one there in case I need it one day do you know what I mean that that one it can just stay there so now we're off to see Another McCreary, Derek. Derek, Derek, Derek. He's so close to where we are too. There are some McCreary's that I like. I, I don't mind Derek. I don't mind Gerald now. So, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Babysitting. Oh, a boat, okay. Hi. Get in the boat, me boy. Get a skipper in this little vessel. Cool. Awesome. We're going out at sea. This is the place. Oh, you know what? I probably should have got my armor. Escort the Korean <laughs> contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of here. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden, we all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him. I fucking think I talk. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. From what I hear, Aiden still rants about me to anyone who listens. I know. Oh, no. oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it. I wanted to hear the rest of that conversation. You Park's boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedeku? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Um, can I restart that? Don't tell me you dropped something overboard! Yeah, I'm about to drop us overboard because I'm... I'm sorry, I want to... I, wa I want to hear that conversation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's happening there? I didn't think you had many friends left. This is a Korean guy I did business back in Ireland. He's bringing super notes into the country tonight. Super notes? Counterfeits! They look so good, you wouldn't spot them in a month of Sundays. Over there, we used to buy them off them, exchange them for genuine currency. Nice scam! If you don't hit the same place too often, 
His boys are pulling the same gig over here. They're cutting you in on this deal. One of the locals to escort that boat into the harbor. They make these things in North Korea and have to ship them out here. I've heard it's some government-funded operation. I don't give a shit as long as it keeps me in brown, you know? Anyway, I figured you know a thing or two about smuggling stuff into the country. What's that mean? You're illegal, right? You think us McCreary's was legal when we came here? This is a country founded by immigrants. People who beg, steal, and borrow to get ahead. It's the lifeblood of the place. People forget that. That was a different conversation than the first time. I missed the first conversation now, but that that's okay. It was probably almost over anyway. Alright, so we need to escort this guy, make sure he gets in safe with his counterfeit notes. You Parks boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedeku? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, well this is probably gonna be tricky. It is night time, 5 a.m. May not be too many cops Seems around. like a good kid. Reminds me of you, actually. Is that because he's coming into the country to rob the good people of America of their hard-earned money? When you put it like that, he reminds me of a McCreary. <laughs> good luck to him. Doesn't look like he arrived oh. on for such a secret. Can you think of why that is? Fuck if I know. Maybe my phone's tapped. Maybe Frankie's been tapping my fucking phone. And he called this in to mess with me. We gotta make sure he's not making Damn. Whoa, nice. Ah, You're doing me proud, Nico. I'm trying. Oh, I just threw him over the top of that dude. On the right, boy. Oh, he's he's gone. He's gone. Yes, they are. Damn, okay. Shit, they're sending the fucking airborne cavalry after us as well. Mm -hmm. Good thing we got a rocket launcher with us. We've got the one, a rocket launcher. It's in the back. Get rid of that chopper with it. I'll drive the boat. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. This is my first time using a rocket launcher here. Um... It doesn't have any homing. <laughs> oh god. Would really love some some homing power, honestly. What happens if I run out of rockets? <laughs> oh god, okay, we'll just try my best. There he goes. You can drive the boat again now. Alright. <laughs> cool. That's not too bad. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. So now we have access to a rocket launcher. I didn't think he even knew I was back. Can't the man just let his brother be? It's like fucking Cain and Abel, the two of us. No wonder I turned into the wreck you see before you. A brother like that. Jesus. So is Francis the only explanation for this shit? If the shoe fits, Nico. If the bloody shoe fits. Wow. Sure, I've been telling a few people about this, but hell. I smell a rat, and Frankie's the biggest damn rat I know. Would Francis really do that to his brother, to his family? Or does he not know that Derek is involved with this operation with Kim? He may have heard about Kim coming in with the, the counterfeit notes, but... I don't know if he knew that Derek was involved. Wow. I don't know what to think. Oh, got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Miss McGarry. 
Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, mm. got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Mm. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. <laughs> See Derek, you soon. stop. Is there any hope for Derek? I don't think there is, honestly. I don't know if there is. I don't know what to think about that. I really don't. If Francis is doing that to his brother, ratting out on his brother, it's not good. Oh, I got a message from little Jacob. Iris Star, you got some crazy flying skills. I and I should fly over to Jamrock one day, Sight. Aww. That's cool. Um, I was wondering if I could call Francis and just ask. This is Francis. No. Okay. How about Roman? Has he got anything to say? Ladies. Nope. Ladies. Okay. Well, let's just carry on because I'm having a fantastic time. We are going to go and see Ray Buccino. As soon as I can get the cops out of the way, so I can steal a car. So as you guys know, I don't like taking taxis. It's boring. <laughs> and plus you can miss out on, on, on random events, the strangers. Why would you want to do that? Give me your car. On, Thank you very much. Don't you ever... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Get off. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick up his money whilst in the car? Nah, I probably don't need 20 bucks anyway, honestly. Oh. Here we are. Ray. Ray Pacino. Melt down. Meltdown. Yeah, 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 sure, Phil, sure. Hey, Phil, listen, you know me, and I know you. Nah, I didn't mean nothing by it. Hey, take it easy. Oh, Phil, take it easy. <laughs> yeah, listen, tell Jimmy I said hello. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. We got a problem. Oh. Who? You and me? Yeah. <gasps> I got two options. Option one, you rip me off. Option two, Luca and his buddies the rip ice. you both off. Hey, hey, I left them with the stuff to bring to you as instructed. Maybe you're in on nope. it. Nope. Maybe I am. But if you thought that, I wouldn't be standing here right now. You ain't as dumb as you look. Luca hangs out in Castle Gardens. Go see him. Go get my stuff back so everyone can get paid. Now. Mm, right. I knew those guys would take it. <laughs> Ray's just going off in the background. Can't hear a word he's saying. Do you remember that last mission that we had for Ray when we were driving the, the waste truck, the dump truck? Whatever you guys call it. Garbage truck, I call it. But I knew that those guys would take the stuff. I mean, honestly, they, they even said, this is a nice car. I think this is race. I like it though. Yeah, they, they are gonna get sorted out because I knew that they could not be trusted. And we need to get that stuff back for Ray to show him that we can be trusted. It's just here, so let's take let's take all these guys out. It's a lesson. Ah, uh, look bosses. at them. Look at him there. Luca, I need that ice back. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikki. I gave every one of those diamonds to Ray. Now we all know that that's not true. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, you cabbage eating prick. Who says it weren't you that made off with them? Wow. That's what I'm telling Ray. The game's up, boys. We're out of here. 
Oh, no, you are not. Oh, we're going to just take that guy. Oh, the poor fellow. <laughs> oh, I need Luca alive to get the diamonds back. Well, the ice back. Whatever it is. Guys, I don't take drugs. I have no idea about any of this stuff. I famously once thought that that um, one of these guys wanted a rock. Like it was an actual diamond. I'm an idiot. How can I stop these guys? I don't know if I can shoot at them. But maybe I could blow out their tires or something. I wasn't looking, I was looking at all the trucks, at the logs coming up that truck. I would really like to bust out one of these tires, if that's even possible. Yes. Oh crap. I think he's gonna die because his car's on fire. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. I didn't know. Okay, so let's just chase. No guns. No guns, just chase. All right. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I know what to do now. All right, well, here we go. Let's just chase him. No guns this time. We just need to try and stay alive. Pretty sure that eventually he will have to maybe have an accident or pull up somewhere. that truck with the logs on it again. That was cool. Oh, there we go. Nice. I love that. Whoa. Damn. These guys are pretty good drivers. I'm not doing too bad with keeping up with them though. That's his car wrecked, hopefully. The gang have escaped into the park. Take them down, but not Luca though, right? We don't want to take down... I didn't think we wanted to take down Luca. No, we don't need a we don't need a hot dog. Where are you? Where are you? You're surrounded. <laughs> Where is this dude? Forward, dive. Oh, there you are. Go. I don't give a shit. Luca is hiding in the toilets. Flush him out. <laughs> okay. Hi, Luca. Where are you? You're making things real hard on yourself. <laughs> oh, that's not you. You're all right. Oh, oh God! I think I just killed that fellow. Or well, maybe he was already dead. I'm going to find you, Luca. <laughs> Ray ain't gonna give you shit for helping him out, Nikki. Oh, I think does this one? This one is not flashing blue and red. Look at them Tuna and Johnny's cut. Come on. Oh, so I have the choice of walking away. I think. 
Well, no. You and me, we could go to Venturis. No one's ever gonna find us. I've got to take him out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't want to go to Venturis. With me. Yes, exactly. Now let's just shoot the rest of the doors. I'm sorry. <laughs> I took out Lucas' crew, and I got your diamonds. What do you mean you took them out? I just wanted you to get the ice back. I didn't say nothing to you about killing those boys. Whatever. They're dead, and I've got the stuff. You want to get your hands on it? Come meet me at the bridge in Middle Park. Oh. Hang on. Sometimes I, I, I think about, about Ray. He's like, he, he doesn't want to admit that he's done any of this stuff do you know what i mean he doesn't want to say like oh yes i told I you to kill them. them he just denies everything so is he just so you know i'm not liable enjoy thank you is he actually upset about what we did is my car still here yes it is it's a nice car i don't really want to get rid of it Thanks, Nikki. I guess you never know who's gonna stab you in the back, huh? No, Thanks for the advice. Oh, look at that beautiful red car. I've got I've gotta have that car. I I have to have that car. I want it. This car that we're in now is really badly damaged. So that red car is gonna be mine. You are gonna be mine. What car is this anyway? It's a Turismo. What? Oh. Beautiful. Look, this kind of makes up for the comet that I lost. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's nice. Not funny. That's nice. And now I'm going to park this one here. There we go. That's the most beautiful car. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that we took that thing. There are so many nice cars around the city though. I think what I'd like to do before I finish up is perhaps go on another date with Kate. So I really like Hi there, her. Kate. It's me, Nico. So listen, you want to hang out at all? I was wondering what exactly had happened to you. I'm free now. Come pick me up. Look forward to it. I'm on my way. Nothing's happened to us. We are fine. <laughs> I saw you like not long ago, lady. Get out of the way. I've got a date. Um, I forgot to mention that I really liked that interaction in that mission that we had just had with Jerry when she kissed Nico, Nico on the cheek. I thought that was really cute and adorable. So that has really like prompted my liking for Kate so much so that I think I would like to dump Kiki. Oh, damn, my exit. So that I can concentrate on Kate. I mean, sure, if if things get too far with Kate, Packy is probably going to not be very happy and hurt us quite badly. Yikes. But I think it's worth a try. I think she's sweet. She's a sweet girl. Right, let's see if she likes our car or our clothes this time. Please, Kate? Hi. Hey, you. Shall we go? Um. I like this car. It's much better. The top. No nice way to say this. It's not really working. Mm. The pants, they're a bit weird. 
What were you thinking with the shoes, Nico? Right. What have you been up to? Actually, I don't think I want to know. I'm sure it made you feel big and strong. <laughs> Not really. Lord above, you don't even enjoy it. Then why do it? Can you do me a favor and stop preaching? I'm fine. I am what I am. For better or worse. Fair enough. A lifetime of trying to sort my brothers out has left me a little sanctimonious. Mm. Forgive me. I'm sorry if this is a weird question. What was the war like? It was great. You got to see people turn into animals and your close friends die. Sorry, I knew it was a dumb question. It's just I hoped it wasn't so awful for you. No, it was seeing your home destroyed, seeing members of your family die. My aunt, the Roman's mother, she was, she was, she was, she was raped and murdered. I found her. Roman does not know. He thought she died in a house fire. I'm so sorry. The world is hard. What are you going to do? Maybe you're right. The war taught me a lot of bad things. But it also taught me to enjoy life. I like that. I had no idea about Roman's mother. That is so sad. And Roman doesn't know, but Nico knows and Nico carries that knowledge and that burden with him every day knowing what he knows about Roman's mom and he he kept that truth from Roman which I think is probably the right thing to do in those circumstances, knowing, knowing what happened to his mom. That's so, so, so sad. So sad. Look, last time, last time we took, I want to go somewhere else. I want to go I want to go somewhere else. I want to go to a restaurant. I... I don't know that... Oh, I'm sad now. That really... That is sad. That is really sad to, to know that about... about Roman and his mom. And, and Nico, I... couldn't even imagine what, what he's been through. He's just been through absolute hell. I hope this is a safe car! Oh, sorry. He's been through absolute hell in the war. He's just seen so, so many terrible, awful what things. What are they playing at? Is everyone okay? Fun here, I think. Oh no, I accidentally went to the wrong place. Oh damn it. Oh no, I didn't want to do this. I didn't me, please. I think that was kind of fun. That was fun. I didn't want to get Yeah, great. Just great. I love drinking. Gives you clarity. Calms you down. Shows you that you really do hate yourself. I don't know about that. You already knew that, maybe. I hate myself and I want to die. Great. That's a sensation wow. worth paying for. Fuck! What is wrong with me? Calm down. I'm trying! Maybe I better shut up. Maybe. Wow, I feel really bad for Kate. She has... a lot of repressed issues, doesn't she? Honestly. Look, it didn't go right. I'm just gonna... I'll get a taxi. Taxi! <laughs> Taxi, please. Me, <laughs> Taxi Come back. Look, you guys know I don't like taxis. But I'm not driving like this. Come back. <laughs> Come on. Okay, um, where to? 
take Kate back home. I want to go to Savannah Avenue. Hey, okay, yet problem. All right, that'll do. Sorry, sorry that we didn't go out for a meal and we got drunk again. It was an accident. I'm still drunk. Oh my god. Please stop. <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, just goodbye. Yes. Thanks for a fun time. Goodbye. Yeah, thanks for a fun time. You just got Nico's deepest, darkest, most terrible moments of his life. And you told me that you hate yourself. So yeah, it was it was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Well, guys, I'm going to end that episode here. I had a really nice time. That last date with Kate, though, has really left me feeling very sad for Nico and indeed Roman as well. Knowing what I now know about Roman's mother, Nico's aunt, that is so tragic and so sad and terrible. The burden that Nico has to carry would be so heavy on him just really 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 bad it was a it was a fun episode though i i enjoyed my my missions with ray i enjoyed flying the helicopter with little jacob that was a lot of fun so there was quite a few good points in here i didn't really enjoy the motorbike one but that's what can you do one day i might get better at motorbikes or maybe i won't i will continue to dislike them forever well that's it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching i can't wait to see what awaits us in the next episode you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you soon bye